So there are a number of ways that we can import data into Fiji. So first of all, we can go to File, Open. We could go to the Beginners in the Desktop, Demo Data, and we can fi find a file in here. So say, for example, this one, and that will open up that file immediately for us. I hardly ever use that. Mostly I use the drag and drop version. So here's that same file. If I left click and hold, drag that across onto this bottom area, you can see on the left hand side it says drag and drop. If I now release, that will open up the file. What you want to avoid is dragging a drop onto the desktop or anywhere where it doesn't say drag and drop. That just means you'll copy that file onto the desktop. Okay, so you'll see opening up a TIFF file just automatically opens up that image. Uh, if we go through and try and find a different uh, file format, say for example a Leica file, this is a .lif file, we can again drag and drop this, but now it brings up this dialog box. And this is what we call the bioformats import option. So this is Fiji using something called bioformats to read the Leica file extension and be able to open that. So bioformats uh, work out a way of being able to open up all the different companies' file formats and open that up within Fiji or some of the other softwares as well. So this gives us a lot of different options in terms of how we want to open up these images. So uh, for example, you can have HyperStack, you can open up just the metadata. If you're old school, you can go to standard ImageJ. Mostly I use HyperStack here. You can display metadata and that will open up a separate window as well as your image window that has the, the metadata. Uh, down the bottom here, we can hit split channels, split focal planes or split time points. Just be wary doing this, that if you have 100 time points and you hit split time points, you'll end up with 100 images open within VG, and you'll soon learn what the close all function is within VG. Uh, some other things to uh, bear in mind is if you have very large data sets, obviously you might not be able to load in you know, tens of gigabytes into the, to the RAM on the system. We can use the virtual stack option in which case it only opens up the image plane that we're currently looking at. Uh, we have color mode down here, so we can change and customize different color modes. You'll see every time you select something on the right, over here there's an information pane that tells you a bit more information about it. One other thing to be wary of is this auto scale button. So if we activate this, it's gonna auto scale the uh, intensity uh, scale, so it's actually going to change the data. Make sure this is unticked if you're doing quantitative analysis. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now with the Leica files, we can have multiple images within one file. So in this case, we've got three different images. Uh, they all have three channels. Uh, they're all 1024 by 1024 pixels. We can select the ones we want and go ahead and click OK.